Okay, so welcome along everybody to our 45 minute Pilates session with Tash here demonstrating all the exercises for you today. What I want you to do first of all is just lie down on your back, on your mat. If you haven't got a mat at home then use a blanket or some towels, maybe put something over at the top of a rug, just so you've got a little bit of cushioning for the back. So Tash, if you bring the feet together and let the legs drop out to the sides in an inner thigh stretch, so that's how we'll start today. Just make sure your lower back's in a neutral position. Maybe you can check neutral by just putting one hand into the lower back and just make sure there's a little bit of space there. So just one hand would slot there. Close the eyes now, switch off any thoughts and think about the breathing. So it's a long inhale through the nose, and then an exhale through the mouth with a little bit of sound on the exhale. If we try that with a bit of counting, so if we inhale for four, three, two, one, and then exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale for four, three, two, one, and then exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Try a few breaths like that now by yourself. Keep the focus on the count. Try and forget about anything else, just the counts in your head. Four counts in, five counts on the exhale. So staying in the same position, we're just going to lift the arms, let them fall back onto the floor behind us on the inhale. If they don't reach the floor, it's not a problem. And then on the exhale, then bring the arms back over again. Still think about the inhale being through the nose, the exhale through the mouth, long and thin with the breaths. Just pay a little bit of attention to the front of the rib cage as we're doing this. Try and keep the rib cage feeling heavy pressing down into the spine. It doesn't feel like it's popping up towards the ceiling. As the arms lift and drop back, you could contract your pelvic floor. As the arms come back over again, then release the contraction. So pelvic floor, remember, goes to the loo next time, halfway through, hold on. Try that, that's your pelvic floor. So we want to contract as the arms lift and drop, and then release the contraction as the arms come over. So just do that two more times. Inhale, lift the arms, let them fall back. No stress on the shoulders. Exhale. And then final time, so inhale, lift the arms, just let them drop back lightly. And then exhale, then bring the arms back over. Good. Okay, so if we bring the hands now to the outside edge of the legs and just slowly bring the knees back together again, just carefully, you may feel a little bit uncomfortable when we do this. Lift the feet off the floor now, wrap the arms around the legs tightly, pull the legs in tightly towards the body and just give the body a little rock from side to side. Now the breath, remember we want to still keep the breaths moving. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. The movement and the breath don't need to link together. So it doesn't have to be that we inhale to one side, exhale to the other. So don't worry about that, just keep the breath moving. Start to draw circles around with the legs now. So pulling the knees in towards the body, pushing the hips down towards the floor. So both legs circling around. Again, breath doesn't need to link with the movement, but just keep the breaths moving. So circle in one direction, and then always change direction and go around the opposite way. Try and keep your mind clear of any thoughts. At this point, we're not thinking about anything at all. Okay, so link the fingers together, pull the right leg in towards the body, nice and tight, straighten out the left leg. So the back of the left leg goes down onto the floor. So we'll inhale through the nose. As we exhale through the mouth, we're gonna lift the head, lift the shoulders away from the floor, pull the chin right though up towards the knee as tight as you can. And then inhale, then release and lower back down again. Do that two more times. So exhale to lift. 
Good, and then inhale, then release and lower. And then final time, exhale to lift. And then inhale, then release and lower. Take the right arm over to the side, so the hands level with the shoulder. Inhale and then exhale, pull the leg over to the opposite side. So you're pulling the right leg down towards the floor on the left side. Take the leg down as far as it wants to go. Don't force the back. Try and keep the shoulders on the floor. Two breaths together, inhale. Exhale, push the leg down a little further if it wants to go any further. Second breath, inhale deeply. And then exhale, push the leg a little further down if it wants to go further. So back to center, just repeat on the other side, exactly the same thing. So if we link the fingers, pull the opposite leg, the left leg tightly in towards the body. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and then exhale through the mouth, lift the head, lift the shoulders, pull the chin up towards the knee. Inhale, then release and lower back down again. Again, second time, exhale, lifting. Inhale, then release and lower. And then final time, exhale to lift. And then inhale, then release and lower. So as we did on the other side, so now the left arm goes out to the side, the hands level with the shoulder. Take an inhale and then exhale, just pulling the leg over to the opposite side. Bring the leg down towards the floor as far as the leg wants to go, no forcing through the lower back. Two breaths together, inhale. So exhale, see if you can push the leg a little further across, down towards the floor. Second time, inhale deeply. And then exhale. Okay, so bringing the legs back to the center, just squeeze the legs in tightly to the chest, rocking the body from side to side. So ready to start. If we take the feet flat on the floor now, give the feet a little bit of a shake so they can get cold. So just on the floor, Tash, if we just give the toes a good shake out, wake up the feet, it's the way. Just bring a bit of life back into the feet again. That's the way. Okay, so 100 breathing. So the 100 breathing, we do five inhales through the nose and then five exhales through the mouth. So five little sniffs, five times in, five times out. The first round will keep the head and the shoulders down on the floor. Now I'm gonna count with you, so stay with me for this one. Head and shoulders stay down, we're just doing the breathing. So inhale, five, four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. 10, five, four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. 20, in, 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 shh, 30 in, 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 40 in, 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 50 in, 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 60 in, 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 70 in, 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 80 in, 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 90 in, 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 100 breaths. Give the feet a little bit of a shake on the floor, wake up the feet again. Now, we'll try it with the head and the shoulders lifted. If you prefer to keep the head and the shoulders on the floor, that's fine. So Tash, let's start with the head down to start with and take the arms back by the ears. So take an inhale, try and find and contract your pelvic floor. Then as we exhale, lift the arms, the head, the shoulders, and the chest all together, like an abdominal curl. So the hands are about 10 centimeters away from the floor. So pelvic floor strong, lower back hopefully is neutral. Try and find that neutral position. Chin slightly away from the chest. Now we're just going to pump the arms and we're gonna breathe. And that's it, the body stays as it is. So we inhale, five, four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. 10, five, four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. 20, five, four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. 30, five, four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. 40, five, four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. 50, five, four, three, two, one, shh, 65, 4, 3, 2, 1, 
100. Lower the head down on the floor, pull the legs in tightly to the body. Two deep breaths together, inhale. Long exhale. Second time, deep inhale. And then a long exhale. Okay, so let's go with a bridge next. So if we pull the feet in a little closer in towards the body and check the width in between the feet. So I always imagine an extra foot would slot there in between the two feet. Start with the lower back in neutral. So we'll keep the lower back neutral. We're not gonna imprint here, we're just staying in neutral. Inhale, find your pelvic floor contract. And then as we exhale, then we're lifting the hips high into the air, about four seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now we're looking for a straight line from your knee, through your hip joint, through to the shoulder joints. Then on the way back down, same thing in reverse, just lower back down. Four, three, two, one. So again, check your pelvic floor. Let's go again. So lifting, four, three, two, one, and then lower back down again, four, three, two, one. Try a few of those now at your own speed, keep the counts moving in your head, make sure you're not losing the counts. Try and keep the breath fluid so it doesn't feel like there's a stop in the breath. Pelvic floor on the way up, it usually feels easy to find the pelvic floor to contract, on the way down a little bit more difficult. So your challenge is to try and keep the pelvic floor engaged on the lift as well as on the lower. If you think with the breath, we don't want to hold in the breath, we don't want to pause. Whatever we're doing, keep the eyes closed, it's very powerful, we can focus inside the body. Think about the things that relate to the exercise. So with bridging, pelvic floor strong on the way up, on the way down, breath moving. Check the way the feet are placed on the floor so we want weight through the big toe as well as through the little toes. All the way around the circumference of the foot really, we want to keep the weight placed equally. Can always, as we're doing the video here, can always, as you're practicing at home, always pause and do a few extra repetitions if you would like to. So finishing off, now when we finish anything, always a good idea now just to pull the legs in tightly to the chest again, rock the body from side to side and take two long breaths again. Inhale deeply, exhale completely, try and let all the air out, nothing left at the end of the breath. Second one, inhale deeply, and then exhale. So if we have the legs now in the tabletop position, so we want right angles at the knees, right angles at the hips. That's the way up to it. And we want to lift the arms into the air as well. So we want right angles at the shoulders as well. Now the palm of the hands are facing inwards towards each other. Check your lower back's neutral. Remember neutral, a little bit of space there between the lower back and the mat. Pull the abdominals inwards towards the spine. Pelvic floor contracted. Opposite arm and leg. So we're going to lower the leg, lower the arm down, straightening out the leg as we're doing this. So we're lowering just one leg at once, opposite arm and leg, so lowering down towards the floor, down on the exhale, and then lift up to the top on the inhale, and then the same on the other side. So down on the exhale, and then lift up to the top again on the inhale. Have a go by yourself. You're trying to make sure the lower back stays stable, it doesn't move, stays locked in position. Try and make sure your pelvic floor is contracted the whole time. If you want something a little stronger, you could fully extend the legs, so you can either keep the right angle locked in at the knee, or we could fully extend the leg. If we're doing the toe taps, you want the big toe just to make contact with the floor. If we're doing the leg extension, you want to keep the foot just away from the floor. So let's give that a go. Close the eyes, let's not overthink the exercise, very simple. 
Essentially, we're just trying to keep the lower back stable. Go through in your mind again the things that relate to the exercise. Lower back neutral, pelvic floor engaged, abdominals engaged, breath moving the whole time. Long, thin breaths. Just try and make sure the breath doesn't come out of the body too quickly. Even intensity. Looking for. Again, if you're at home, you can always just pause now and do a few more repetitions. Finish off the one we're doing there now. And pull the legs in tightly towards the body when we're finished. Always try and finish off the final one. So when we're finished, pull the legs in, rock the body from side to side, or draw the circles around with the legs as we did earlier. Whatever feels good for the lower back. Two deep breaths together, inhale, exhale. Second time, inhale, and then exhale. Okay, so Tasha, I want you to lift the head and the shoulders, pull the chin up towards the knees. Now, you're in a little ball, I want you to give yourself a push now into a seated position. So pushing, just a little rock into seated, then straighten out the legs in front of you. It's good, yeah, that's the way. Lift the arms high into the air. So reaching up, take an inhale, and then as we exhale, tilt forwards from the hips, rounding the spine, reaching forwards towards the feet. And then at the end of the movement, let the head drop downwards. We're trying to keep the knees straight. We're trying to keep the back in a nice smooth curve. Weight of the head dropping down. So we're feeling the stretch hopefully in the lower part of the back, usually a lot of tightness there, and in the hamstrings in the back of the legs. Taking three breaths here together. Inhale, try and bring the chest a little further forwards towards the feet, and then on the exhale, let the body drop down towards the legs. The head as well as the body. Second breath, so inhale, pull the chest a little further forwards. And then exhale, let the body drop down towards the legs. And then one more time, inhale deeply. And then exhale. Okay, so coming back up into a seated position, Tasha, I'd like you to come on back to all fours now. So just take your time and then sit back into child's pose. Remember the child's pose, we sit back towards the heels, go back as far as you can go. Push the hands forwards, walk the fingertips out towards the front edge of the mat, and let the head drop down towards the floor. So remember, child's pose, we want the length. So from your fingertips through to your back of, back of the pelvis as long as possible. Two breaths together, inhale, and then exhale. Let the body drop a little further into the stretch. Second time, inhale deeply. And then exhale. Lift the head now, bring the hands back towards the knees and we'll come into forward fold. So lifting the head, lifting the chest, tuck the toes underneath, lift the knees away from the floor. So pushing the feet now flat on the floor, walk the hands back towards the feet and let the weight of the head drop down. Keep the legs nice and strong, keep the legs as much as possible in the upright position, head dropping down. So remember, we're looking through the knees or through the thighs, towards the wall behind us, or whatever is behind us. Two deep breaths here together. Inhale. So exhale, let the waist of the body drop a little further down. Second time, inhale. And then exhale. Now we're turning around to the right leg. Holding on to the right leg with both hands, pulling the body round to the right side. If you'd like to, you can extend the right arm now up into the air, so reaching up towards the ceiling, it just skips out through the shoulder there. Two breaths together, inhale. As we exhale, pull the body further around without the knees bending. Always watch that the knees are just nice and strong. Second time, inhale. And then exhale. Do the same thing round to the opposite side. So holding on to the left leg now with both hands, pull the body round to the left side, left arm reaching high into the air, look up towards that top hand, as long as it feels okay for the neck. 
Two breaths, inhale. So exhale, pulling the body a little further around, reaching higher with the hand. Second time, inhale. And then exhale. Okay, so back to center. Now we'll try a balance on one leg. Some of us may need a chair here or something to hold on to, end of the bed, it doesn't matter, something just to hold on to. But you can always try the balance with the fingertips on the floor. So one leg slides away, out behind us on the inhale. It doesn't matter which leg we start with. And then on the exhale, then we lift the leg high into the air. So try and keep the pelvis square on for this one. Then if you're feeling stronger, we can lift the hands away from the floor, lift the chest, take the arms out to the side like an aeroplane, so like your wings come out to the sides, and just try and find your balance. You may wobble a little bit, don't worry about the wobbling. If you need a prop, absolutely again, use the back of a chair, tabletop, anything that you might have just handy to hold on to. Two breaths here together, inhale. So exhale, lift the back leg a little higher if possible. Second time, inhale. And then exhale. Bring the hands back down on the floor, bring the feet back down onto the floor again. And we'll try the same on the opposite side. Slide the other leg away on the inhale. Lift the leg high into the air on the exhale. Try and keep the pelvis feeling square for this balance. Then, if we're feeling stronger, then we can start to lift the chest, arms out to the side, ideally horizontal, really through the body out, through to the back leg, keeping the shoulders, the pelvis feeling square, abdominals contract, pelvic floor strong. Two deep breaths, inhale. So exhale, lifting the back leg, strengthening the supporting leg, check your pelvic floor, check your breathing. Second time, inhale, and then exhale. Okay, so feet back down, hands back down, and coming back down onto the mat on all fours. So I want you to have the hands below the shoulders, the knees below the hips, and we'll do a little bit of flexion extension, or cat and camel. So the head drops downwards, and the back pushes up towards the ceiling. Exhale, pushing hard, Get a rounded shape through the spine, a nice curve through the spine. Then in reverse, inhale, lift the chin, looking up towards the ceiling, let the lower back sink down. Let's keep that going, so head goes down, back goes up, pushing with a bit of force, exhale. So in the flexion, we want to force a little bit on the extension as the chin lifts, the lower back sinks down. We don't want to force. Have a go by yourself. So exhale, pushing up, and then inhale, opposite way. Lift the chin, looking up towards the ceiling. Try a few of those by yourself. Keep the breath strong. If we want to add in a bit of pelvic floor work as we're pushing up, contract the pelvic floor as we're looking up towards the ceiling, let the pelvic floor release. So such a great thing to do. We can practice this at any time. It doesn't necessarily have to be in with our Pilates routine. Let's finish in neutral. When we're finished, we're looking down towards the floor. We've got a tiny curve in the lower back, so pull the abdominals in to support that. Make sure the body feels strong and stable, and then slide the opposite arm and leg away from us. So it's a four-point movement. So inhale, slide out. Exhale, lift the arm, lift the leg. And we're looking for a horizontal line through the arm, through the body, out through to the leg. Try and keep the pelvis feeling square. Then in reverse, touch down again on the floor. Inhale, and then return back to the start on the exhale. So down on the floor, inhale, back to the start on the exhale. And then the same on the other side. So slide away on the inhale. Lift on the exhale. Touch down on the floor on the inhale. And then return back to the start on the exhale. Try a few of those by yourself. Few little points to think about. Abdominals are contracted, pelvic floor stays contracted, lower back try and keep stable, neutral the whole time. 
Watch the pelvis doesn't move, really side to side or tilt. Shoulders, similarly, we don't want any tilting or movement through the shoulders. Looking down the whole time, so keep the tip of the nose pointing down towards the floor. Watch that the top leg, so the leg that we're lifting, the, doesn't lift too high. So there's a maximum height, really, we would go to horizontal. Have a go by yourself. So really good stabilization exercise. Breath always moving the whole time. Even intensity of the breath. Remember, try and make sure the breath isn't stronger at one point and then weaker at another point. and then lower back down again on the inhale. Just a few little things, pushing the wrists apart as we're lifting, just helps to give everything a little bit more stability, a little bit more structure. Knees just float away from the floor, lower back feels strong, and the top of the back should feel strong as well. Sometimes the upper back feels like it's sinking in the middle. So if that's happening to you, if it feels like we're collapsing in the middle, lift the breastbone, the chest higher. If that feels like it's happening. Now again, you can always pause at this point, do a few more repetitions, if you feel you would like to. Up, when we're finished with the final one, we can move along and do our pigeon stretch. Pigeon stretch if we bring the right knee to the right wrist. So remember, it's always the same side, knee to wrist. Pull the right foot a little higher using the opposite hand. So use the left hand. Just see if we can just bring the foot a little further up towards the front edge of the mat. Now, square off the hips. Make sure they feel square and slide the back leg away. So push it away. Fold the body down over the front leg. When we're good, take your time and then let the weight of the body drop down towards the floor. So the head drops down and the body drops right down. If the head doesn't reach the floor or if it feels more comfortable, you can always fold the arms and rest the head down onto the folded arms. So holding it still, we'll take three deep breaths here together. Inhale. So exhale, try and feel the rib cage, sorry, the weight of the rib cage, the weight of the body dropping down further. Second breath, inhale deeply. And then exhale. And then one more time, inhale deeply. And then exhale. Okay, so if we change sides, do the same thing on the other side. So back up again, we bring the left knee to the left wrist. Same knee to wrist. And then we pull the left foot a little higher with the right hand. Square off the hips, slide the back leg as far away as possible. And then we fold the body down over the front leg, dropping the head down towards the floor. You can always make a pillow with your hands and rest the head down onto the hands if we would like to. So, two deep breaths here together. Inhale deeply. And then a long exhale. Again, second time, inhale deeply. And a long exhale. Okay, so release back out of the stretch again. We're gonna come up onto the mat on our knees. 
In between the knees, just stick like we've got an extra shoe there or an extra foot there. In between the two knees there, just a little bit of space, a few centimetres. We want to lift the pelvis nice and high. We want to pull the front of the ribcage inwards towards the body. Hands on the shoulders, abdominals pulling in strongly, pelvic floor lifting, the lower back staying neutral. So watch the front of the ribcage isn't popping forwards. So from the knees, we start to lean backwards on the inhale, holding the lower back in place. And then as we're exhaling, we're coming forwards back to the start position again. So inhale, watch the back is an arching. Try and get the movement from the knees only. And then exhale back to the start again. Have a go by yourself. Remember, if it feels too strong, you can always have the hands on the hips, take away some of the intensity. Or if it feels like it's not quite strong enough, you can always lift the arms into the air to give you a little bit more intensity, a little bit more resistance. Just watch the bending of the lower back. We don't want that here. So we're trying to keep the lower back locked into place. Less or more range with this kind of exercise. If you're feeling stronger, go further back. If you're not feeling as strong, reduce the range. Don't go quite so far back. Try a few of those by yourself. Just remember movement from the knees. So imagine the body from the knees all the way up to the head doesn't move. Everything's staying still. It's only movement's happening from the knee joint. So, if you want to, you can always pause, do a few more repetitions here. But if we're good, finish off the final one, and then sit back into child's pose again. Sitting backwards, pushing the hands forwards, dropping the head down towards the floor. Now, let's try the child's pose where we take the right arm out the side as far as we can. Take the left hand on top of the right hand. So take the left hand right on top of the right there, link the fingers together if it helps us. Push the hands as far away from the mat as possible to get a good stretch down the side of the back on the left side. Try and keep both arms straight, keep the elbows straight, and take two breaths here together. Inhale, and then exhale. Second time, inhale. And then exhale. Do the same on the opposite side. So switch the arms around. So left hand comes off the mat on the left. Right hand comes on top of the left. Link the fingers together if it helps us. Just makes everything more stable. If you're not feeling the stretch down the right side of the back, take the hands further off, away from the mat, over to the side there. Two breaths together. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale deeply, and then exhale. Okay, so back to center. We're going to lie now face down on the mat. So coming into a lying position, face down on the mat, take your time. What I always like to do first is put the hands one on top of the other, put the forehead or the chin on the hands, and give the hips a shake from side to side. Try and let the hips move very freely here, very loosely from side to side. Now, check the width in between the feet. Imagine an extra foot would slot there between the two feet. And then take the arms directly out in line with the shoulders. So imagine a capital T shape. Palm of the hands down on the floor, the tip of the nose and the forehead touching down on the floor. So we'll start, first of all, checking. Pelvic floor is strong, we've got our contraction. Abdominals, good contraction as well. Both arms lift, we feel the shoulder blades squeezing together. So lift on the inhale, and then lower the arms back down on the exhale. Let's give that a go. So lifting on the inhale, feel the pinch in the top of the back, and then lower the arms back down again on the exhale. Try a few of those by yourself. First of all, just the arms. Can we all check in, make sure our pelvic floor is engaged? Make sure we're feeling that squeeze in the top of the back. So 
always make sure as well the breath is even, it's moving the whole time. If we're feeling stronger now, keep the arms moving, but we can lift the legs as well as the arms. So as the arms lift, the legs can lift at the same time. Inhale, lifting, exhale, lowering. If we're feeling a little stronger still, we could lift the upper body and the head as well. So inhale to lift, exhale to lower. If we're lifting the head, make sure the distance in between the chin and the chest doesn't get greater. So as we're lifting, as we're lowering, like an orange, I always think, would slot there between the chin and the chest. Keep the distance the same at the bottom as it is at the top. Breath, check in again, is the breath moving the whole time? We're lifting to the top of the range, but we don't want to put strain on the lower back here. Just lift as high as the back will allow, comfortably without feeling like we're forcing or pushing the back. Okay, so finish off. One hand on top of the other hand, roll the hips out from side to side. Take a quick moment here. Linking the fingers together now behind the back. So link the fingers together, slot them in firmly, and pull the hands downwards towards the feet. So try and straighten out the arms as much as possible. To start with, let's keep the head on the floor. So let's keep the head down. So we've just got the arms locked in. So I want you to lift the arms now away from the back. So lifting as high as possible. So lift on the inhale, and then lower the arms back down again on the exhale. Let's give it a go. So lifting on the inhale, then lower back down on the exhale. Similarly, as with the previous exercise, if you're feeling stronger now, you could lift the legs as well at the same time. If we're feeling a little stronger still, you could lift the upper body as well. So it can be just the arms, it can be with the legs, with the upper body, any combination. As the arms if we want to feel a stretch through the chest, through the shoulders, so we can lift the arms high here. With the lifting of the upper body, the legs, we don't again want to put any stress or strain on the lower back. How's the breath? Is it nice and clear? Is it moving the whole time? Notice we do the back exercises towards the end of the session. So if you're making up your own session, of course, that's fine. But always make sure that the back exercises go towards the end. When the body's warmed up, we've done our flexion extension. We've done a bit of stretching, first of all. Okay, so finish off when we're finished. Put the hands one on top of the other. Put the forehead or the chin on the hands. Roll the hips loosely from side to side. Let them move freely. Two breaths here together. Inhale. Long exhale. Second one, inhale deeply. And then a long exhale. Okay, so our back extension will try first of all in the sphinx position. So if we bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, have the hands flat on the floor, absolutely that's the way, lifting the chest nice and high to get a back extension. Again, it's a stretch through the front of the body, an arching of the lower back here that we're looking for, but we don't want to feel like we're putting any undue stress or strain on the lower back. If you're feeling stronger, then we could lift the elbows off the floor and push onto the hands, which makes the back extension more intense. Try and keep the pelvis down on the floor always, and we'll take two breaths here together. Inhale deeply. So a long exhale. Second time, inhale deeply. And then a long exhale. I always like to just hold at the top now, inhale, and then exhale, and then release slowly back down onto the floor again. Put the hands again, one on top of the other, give the hips a shake out from side to side. Two breaths together, inhale, 